Welcome back everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss the, the user creation process through CLI. And that, that's one of the reason we, we have discussed the, the best scripting uh, at the start of this, this course, because now you're gonna see the true power of, of utilizing uh, the, the scripting and how it uh, provides the, the power of uh, uh, managing things through through command prompt. And you know, we, we if we have, something that we want to iterate instead of you know going back and forth into into the uh into the front end we can literally uh do it uh very quickly through through the back end and even we can uh, put the automation jobs that can you know trigger these these uh, script on some particular event so these are all the possibilities that we can achieve from from the from the back end so we, we're gonna start um, uh, our our journey uh uh, from the backend perspective by creating a user and assigning a user a group. Now, uh, the concept is very uh, similar. Uh, uh, we, we're going to create the, the same user like we did in the uh, 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 in the previous video through the front end. The only difference now, this time we are going to use pure scripting or CLI commands of, of AWS. And then obviously in the in the next video, we're gonna assign this user uh, to, to a group because in the first video, we're gonna create a, a user. And in the next video, we're gonna create the, the uh, the uh, we're gonna create the user with the group, and I'm gonna show you how you can use one script to do multiple uh, jobs. That's another power of the scripting. Like you can conditionalize, uh, and based on your own, uh, you know, pattern, you you can uh, you can uh, run multiple tasks uh, by by separating them through through the through the condition. So let's now jump into into our uh, dev environment to first look at the the. Uh, the script and then we'll run it to, to see whether it's going to do the uh, the uh, needful. Let me reshare my screen again. All right, so I'm in my dev environment, so you can see in here. So I'm in, let me see if I can increase the font and let me just, you know, so let me first discuss my, uh, uh, Shell script, the, the, the font is pretty uh, small in, in the VS code for somehow. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to now open it in, in, in here. Let's see, yeah, I think that that's the better one. So that, that's a simple script, that but that script can uh, create user and uh, create user by assigning uh, 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 a group to that user. So these are the two major functionalities, sorry, three. The third one is to list down the existing users. So you can see uh, I have my own small tool now, which I'm building in 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 the in the uh, Bash environment where I can you know do multiple tasks through uh, through single uh, you know uh, one single script, and that that's how we we you know build our own platform or our own world of uh, 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 scripting that can help us to to manage uh, you know uh, 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 the the full enterprise level workload from the infrastructure perspective to to the DevOps perspective to to the data and analytic perspective and uh, let tell you the truth if you really uh, uh, learn the bash or scripting you are going to be champion of all, any kind of cloud environment it's all about you know learning the syntax finding the true library and then you know just combining them together to to run against any environment anyway let's come back to our script so you can see i'm sending a bunch of parameters uh command line parameters so the the, the way to capture the the command line parameter is to uh, uh get it by the dollar sign and uh, uh, followed by the uh, uh, the uh, the the index or the uh, position number of the parameter. So you can see dollar one is going to refer to my first parameter. Second is the is the second parameter. Third is the username, which is I'm going to if I need to create a username, uh, I'm going to pass third as a third parameter. Fourth is a password, and fifth is the group name. Now let me just explain these two. The first one is option it's uh, because i'm doing multiple things through one script so i'm just going to pass the option and based on the option number so for example i just put that if my option is for example let me go down 
in my option is one that I'm actually uh, uh, looking to list down all my user on the screen, right? And if uh, option is two, I'm uh, 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 requesting to create the user, right? So now you can see uh, instead of you know clicking on multiple pages, how you can literally build something, and you don't need the user interface uh, uh, because if you have uh, uh, if you have uh, configured everything on a server, you can literally access everything from from the command shell, and you can manage the whole environment through through the command line environment. Mm -hmm. All right, let me first discuss the uh, discuss the uh, list of user. So. If I just passed one and I'm not going to pass any parameters, so if my, if my option is one, I'm going to call a function called list user. And if I come in the in the uh, in the list user function, by the way, I'm going to actually uh, uh, discuss the 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 function uh, development within the Bash environment because it's a very very important concept. Uh, so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just putting a message to just show you that you have selected option one and it is going to list the existing user. So I'm just going to say exist, existing users in AWS. All right, cool. So, and then obviously I'm forwarding uh, uh, the, the, the command AWS. And then because I have configured my admin profile and you can see I've given it a name. Uh, if you uh, uh, don't understand it, please watch the, uh, the video where I have actually configured the AWS CLI. In, in that video, I have uh, done all these steps that will help you to configure your environment. And now the beauty is you can see uh, with AWS, it pro it uh, if you want to call any particular area of of the AWS, you just need to mention that area. For so, for example, if I'm uh, 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 looking to do something from the the identity and access management, I'm going to call IAM, and then obviously I'm going to call the respective function. Now, if I'm looking something from S3, so I'm going to just put S3, and then obviously I'm going to uh, uh, call the relevant. Function function or, or routine from, from the S3 library, right? So that, that's a very uh, straightforward and very nice and clean pattern that AWS provided. Now, coming down, uh, let's first run this one, right? So let me just close it. Yes, I'm going to save it. And let me just run it with, so you can see I'm passing the first parameter as one. Just ignore the second parameter because we haven't discussed it. So let's run it. You can see it is saying you have selected one to list existing user in AWS and it is showing me my current user, right? Which is pretty cool. And just to, to show you uh, in, let me just go back. So you can see I have one user in here on my front end folder. So, so we are comparing the front end with the, with the back end. All right, now the next step we are going to, create a user. So in the user creation, what I'm going to do, obviously I need to provide a couple of things. I need to provide, okay, create a user. And in order to create a user, we first need to create the, the we first need to create the username. And then based on that username, we are going to provide the password and additional option. So if, uh, unfortunately it is a bit away because the font is, uh, let me just, you know, yeah, now you can see just for a while, I've just uh, decreased the font size uh, on, on, on the on the shell screen to just show you the all the option. So you can see once we create a user, then what we are going to do, we are just, you know, uh, going to call the create login profile. That there's a function which create this user profile because that profile will help this user to log in, right? So creating the user is not going to let that user to log into to the Azure portal or start utilizing the Azure portal. Uh, sorry, AWS, I, I'm continuously saying uh, Azure because my mind is you now divided between Azure and, and AWS. Anyway, that's what happens once you work in multiple technologies. Uh, so you can see create login profile is going to create a login profile based on the username. Obviously, we need to provide the password uh, for this user. 
And then there are a bunch of uh, options that we can provide, whether this user is going to uh, reset its password, or we're going to actually attach the MFA, or we're going to uh, give uh, this user the uh, the access key. So all these options are available in the in the in the CLI uh, command prompt. So you, you, where you can uh, use them. Right, so that that that's uh, how you can create a user, and obviously I actually pack them in the in the in the function. So that's why I'm just create uh, calling the create user, and that that's the beauty of the function. I can uh, uh, now call this function ten times or twenty times. Later on, we're gonna see once we do bulk operation that how we can you know uh, through these one time uh, utility we can iterate it to you know to do uh, things in 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 bulk fashion which require a lot of clicks or a lot of time by doing it from from the front end now one thing uh, before i uh, go back into into the command prompt uh, or terminal uh, you can see i'm passing uh, a, a, a parameter for and i'm storing it in the in the variable called flag so what this flag is going to do it's going to actually specify whether i'm going to add this user into group as well while i'm creating or not so if i'm passing one into into this flag variable that means i'm indicating that yes i'm uh, intending to to add this user in a group and i'm obviously i'm going to provide the group name if i'm not passing uh, uh, any any value that means this condition is not going to be executed we're going to discuss this in, in in the next video so let's create a user without adding into a group So let me go back because I've already created. So you can see a very simple uh, four parameters. The first one, obviously, now I'm passing two because I'm intending to create a user. I'm going to pass zero now because one is for uh, adding the user into the group, which I'm not uh, 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 requesting at this stage. Joshua E is the is the username, and then I have a random password that I have created. Now let me just run it. Now you can see it immediately indicated that you have selected two to create user. And if it is successful, you're gonna see the user and the profile has been created, and we're gonna get it back into the JSON format. One thing you need to be very careful. Let me just you know uh, do AWS. Profile. And I'm going to configure list. So you can see the, the, these are the files, and I, uh, it's not actually uh, displaying in here. Uh, I want to let's so we can even get the the individual uh, parameter of our our profile that we have set it up as part of the CLI. Now you can see that uh, my output type uh, by default is JSON because uh, JSON is is the uh, in some commands once we execute them they return the the outcome in the JSON format. Now why I'm uh, telling you because if you have uh, let's say let me just change it. Let me just change it to set output to PSV. Now that has been done. Let me just show you. So now it is coming as, as uh, CSV. Now let me just, you know, run my same utility, but this time I'm going to call it with, with uh, function one. And you're gonna see, we are not getting any outputs because the, the type is unknown output type. And the reason is, we are we haven't set up the 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 right tie while we have configured uh the while we have configured the uh, uh the uh, 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 the settings uh, during uh, uh profile configuration now let me just go back and change it i'm going to set my output back to json and now let me run it again so now you can see I'm getting back all my users uh, as part of the list user function. So now that that that's something that you need to be uh, very careful because uh, with these parameter the behavior has changed. 
But if you uh, uh, look into, into the front end, let's just refresh it. We have created our first user, but you can see we don't have any group, right? So we are, uh, if the user has been created without without any group associated with it, which we're gonna actually do in the in the next video. So let me just go inside, and this user has all the option that we can set from the from the uh, uh, terminal window. But because I want to recreate the user by associating to the group, so I'm just going to now delete it. Let me just delete it. And this user is gonna go away. And we only have again a single user, which I'm gonna use in the next video. So that that's how you can create the the user in the uh, through the CLI uh, using best scripting. Uh, hopefully that will help you to understand the power of this uh, script. Have any question? Please put it in the comments. More than happy to answer. Please like the video if you find it useful. And I'm gonna see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.